As brewers and distillers are closely watching the state capitol tonight, the House is set to vote on relaxing the state's liquor laws. Political reporter Theo Keith is at the capitol tonight. And Theo, this debate has been, what, years in the making now? It has been, Randy. This measure would let brewers and distillers sell more of their own product inside their own tap rooms. It would mark the first major change to Minnesota's liquor laws since Sunday sales became legal five years ago. While their production lines hum, Minnesota brewers have quietly worked out a deal with other industry players that has lawmakers on the cusp of changes to the state's liquor laws. I think there's a very good chance this year it's looking better than it ever has. Dan Schwartz at Liftbridge is most interested in letting brewers keep selling growlers and large cans called crowlers. Right now, once beer production hits a cap in state law, brewers have to stop. We've heard, heard commitment from legislators that if, if there is an agreement with all the people, the stakeholders, that the, the bill will be taken up and, and moved through. So we're, we're uh, hopeful that that will be the case. Wednesday night, the House is set to vote on the measure. It allows small brewers to sell six packs. Distillers could sell larger bottles. For years, lawmakers have refused to referee disagreements within the industry, and there are still questions about whether this will become law. Key senators have been noncommittal about holding a vote. If not this year, then when? That's an excellent question, and that's why it should be this year. And I think you're about to see pretty significant support in the House to get something done. One group got cut out of this deal, convenience stores and grocers. State law only lets them sell lower alcohol content beer and they're having a harder time finding any to sell. No, that's a terrible selection, isn't it? <laughs> selection means you'd have to have choices. And we don't have any choices left on 3-2 beer anymore. Steve Anderson at Bobby and Steve's fears if his group isn't part of this deal, it could be years before the law gets changed. They don't want any more competitors. The bill up for a vote in the House tonight also sets up a 12-member industry council to broker future compromises more of a formal arrangement than the backroom deal making that led to this particular bill. But grocers and convenience stores are also minimized in that industry council, which has upset that particular group. Amy? All right, Theo, thank you.